Here is a motor that I'm basing off of this motor here that's for my uh, BattleBot and it actually didn't come with the soup label on it. I just thought that the pattern of the motor kind of looked like a soup can so I put Campbell's tomato soup labels on it and I think it looks pretty cool. So to make this motor look a little bit more realistic and it shouldn't take much time is on the front here there's a chamfer and I want to add that chamfer on the front and the back. So what I'm going to do is click on this front line and then click on the back line while holding down control so I can hit them on the both, both at the same time. And then there's two different buttons here. There's one that says chamfer, which is right here, and then there's one that says radius or fillet. Now the difference between a chamfer and a radius is the chamfer creates a flat, it's, it's gonna be flat, but a radius is rounding, it rounds the corner. We're gonna chamfer the corners and you can see it starting. And I'll change the dimension here. Just play around with it. Maybe 0.125. Oops, put the dimension in the wrong spot. Just like that. A little bit too big. We can cut that in half. So 16th of an inch, 625. And that, that looks pretty good. So now I'll click OK. And then I have this saved. So then I put the chamfers on it and put it in this assembly here. This is the assembly form of my battle bot. And you can see right here is this weapon motor. And you can see the chamfers here on the front and back. I drew up this panel here that fits it. And now that is the drive motor for this weapon here. So that will be spinning the weapon. And this will be spinning at actually about 15,000 RPM which is extremely fast. So this weapon is quite a beast. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.